Where the heck even are you? You're right here. Stop with the explosions. You're going to kill all of us. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining me in Enshrouded, where last time we did the Sun Temple and defeated the Fell uh, Sickle Scythe. That's the one. And this time, well, we're going to be turning in because, yeah, we didn't turn in. Ooh, we got all kinds of stuff. And seeing what we're going to get up to next time. You don't have anything. It's just the carpenter. Well blocks. Okay. Flameborn. You have explored, or have you explored any elixir well in the Kindle Wastes? I think I have. They are the youngest of their kind. Oh, they send shivers down my spine. If we nabbed some well blocks from their depths, we could create a true monument. Okay. Well blocks. There was one or two, I think, in that area we needed to get to. What do you need? Yeah, the greatest game, huh? You're a good shot, Flameborn, but you are are you cold blooded? Does your pulse slow before a kill? I know an enemy camp that might be your match. Go on, snuff them out. Okay. Goodbye. That's not as epic as I was hoping for. Uh -huh. Do you have something epic for us? Above and beyond. Flameborn, I have made the greatest of discoveries. Yes, friend, the stars smile upon us at last. A legendary legendary glider to rise above and beyond the wind wind currents. More valuable than any other. Search it and sail like the blue jays, friend. That's a weird way to say that. Search it and sail? Okay. But that is the final glider, at least that they've got so far, I think, in the um, early access here. Which is definitely something I would want to get. So... Yeah, we're full of stuff too. I didn't bother doing anything with that. So, yeah, we've got all this random stuff here that I've not been really attending to among the Blue Jays. And obelisk research? I thought we got three things. Explore the hollow... Oh. Oh, they just marked stuff on our map, didn't they? The other two. So we will set this one active. That's what we're going to want to go and do. So let me go ahead. Oh, yeah. And I also, yeah, I got a comment. I'm um, sorry. I forget who um, commented. Well, I forget your name. But yeah, uh, the uh, hunter here is the one that does the clean bandages. So we can do, ooh, we can do some of those. We only have one antiseptic, though. Always keep so one's not going to do all that much for us. Is this where we make the antiseptic? I think it is. Mm, yes. That uh, aloe. That's right. We need to farm some aloe anyway. So let me get to putting stuff away and doing some chores around here, and then we will get to probably heading off, do a few things. Um, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be trying to look for the glider for sure, but where are the other things that they mentioned? There's, yeah, that's been there for a while. This has been there. I'm pretty sure that's just another um, shroud route. And then question marks. And more question marks. But yeah, this is where we've got to get to. That's like the final O, the greatest game. That's one that was marked, but it's not part of our journal. Interesting. So, yeah. I will get to these chores, and we'll head off to do some question marks, and see if we... Oh, we got to upgrade the flame altar before we can head off to the Blue Jays and get the final glider. So I'll see you in a second. All right, well, that's most of the chores done. I'm just waiting for these yuccas to grow. There's a few of them all the way grown, but I don't really need the wood or yucca stuff. I've got the yucca. Um, yeah, that one there. We've got that. I need to repair my weapons, and it's also getting to be nighttime. But I also found that we really need some salt. So I think we're going to sleep through the night, and then in the morning we're going to head over, head over to the malt, salt mine just real quick. Uh, I'll probably just cut it all out, though, and then we'll head off to do some question marks kind of thinking we should get that one out of the way it's probably gonna be pretty easy because this is like the first bit of shroud right here just because it's been annoying me for a while and then also yeah not that one <laughs> that's that's for later and then maybe this one should probably go figure out what that is too but mostly we need to get our flame upgraded Flame altar, whatever. That hole over there has been bugging me for a while. I need to, what? What are you doing, little goat? Just hanging out. You better not be eating my crops over here. Interesting. They don't have very good meat anyway. So, yeah, for this, we need sulfur, saffron, spark. We need more sparks. Iron. We, I mean, we may have that over in our um, smelter thing, whatever it is. Lapis Lazuli, which we know where that is, kind of. Yucca, which we're growing. And then that. So we can work on getting all this stuff. We are working on getting the saffron. 
that is no here is doing aloe for us but we need nitrate which we need salt for over here you're working on the rubios which does our tea at the moment uh this tea here the Ru rubios tea which is the upgrade from water and then over here we have saffron but you are making sugar for me at the moment i took all the sugar cane out though so that it can stop doing that when it's done with whatever it's working on right now where the heck is the saffron oh can we not grow saffron i'm probably just missing it saffron come on it's got to be in here right no Ooh. okay so maybe we can't grow oh there it is I'm gonna say fertilized farm soil so we can do that how do we make the fertilized farm soil I'm sure she makes it for us, right? It's, it's just bone dust, I think. Uh, far, fertilized farm soil. Oh, it is nitrate also. Oh, we do have nitrate. Somewhere. Fossilized bone dust we can get in sand. I think, don't we? Oh, we may be out of sand again. Alright, so we could probably use some more fossilized bone. And yeah, all the things. So I'm going to go take a nap. Do a bit of farming for various resources that we need, and I will catch up to you guys after that's all done. Alright, well I got everything put away and just repaired stuff, so I wanted to go... Oh yeah, that reminds me. I totally forgot we got these. Spellbinder boots. And we also have these, the Gloom Monarch. So which are better, 26 and 13, or 13 and 26? Stamina and health regeneration mana and stamina regeneration. I think these are going to be better for us. So they have... I mean, they match our gloves, too. We will hang on to the other ones, of course. Put them... Do we have somewhere? Oh, we do have room over here. That works. I think that box over here. This is our main one. For Oh, we have room over here, too. Alright, let's, let's move that. Just since we've got the room. I forgot I dismantled a bunch of stuff last episode. So yeah, we're basically set there, I think. I've got some niter going and some more leather stuff being done. That's all mostly done, but right now we have... Is that going down or is that coming up? Because I had to go and deal with the dogs for a bit. I don't know. Well, I think we have time either way. Because I wanted to go do quick a run to farm some chests and just in case anybody hasn't seen the golden chest locations that I've found so we're gonna go to this one first this is also an iron mine that's really easy to, to get iron out of in case you need to find one that doesn't have a sickle scythe outside of it but like the one that's marked for you so this location is right outside the Vuka Canyon you just run and it's right over here there's like yeah this little cleft and you run up here, and we got the, the cave. I guess it's not really a mine. It is a cave. But there's nothing really in here except further down. You just hey, stay to the right. And that will take you straight over. And they are planted, it looks like, because they've got one of the, the torch things, whatever these are called. Lantern. That, that's what it is, not a torch. And there's, like, some of these. But it looks like they're planning on having this be more, like, enshrouded and stuff. But this is where we're going. Not not right here. I'm just grabbing this stuff just because it's here. This is where we want to come to this rubble wall. <laughs> not a rebel yell, but a rubble wall. And you go through the rubble wall. And then that will take you to the first of the golden chests. It says you need a lockpick, but you don't actually at the moment. Which is, I don't think this place is finished. But yeah, root staff will take it just for the runes. And... That's all really we really want. I could get some iron. Yeah, I should probably grab some iron while I'm here. So let me do that and I'll get right back to you. All right, well, that's one stamina bar worth. Um, and let's go see if it's daytime or not. If it's nighttime, then I think we're just going to head on back home to take a rest real quick. No, it is still daytime. All right, that's a bonus. Uh, it's getting to be nighttime, but we are then going to head on over. I've got this home set up. So this is, yeah, Ocean's Heart, which is right below here, obviously. East Lapis is here, which is part of a story mission thing. And then, yeah, the Exile, that is another hollow hall. But we're not doing that right now. We're just going over here so we can get some more gold chests. So then from here, 
what I like to do. This is up. I made it up high. It's up on this little raised area. There's this pillar, like a, a tower thing right there. And on the map, you'll be able to note this is like the outline of o Ocean's Heart here. It's right here on this corner. And I can just kind of fly most of the way there. There's another one over there, but it's easy to get to from... Oh yeah, we can't quite with this glider. So you just go to the left here, and then up, you know, however you want to. There's nobody out here guarding it or anything. At least not that I've seen. Like, there's no enemies. You can just go straight up to the top of this. Go in here. And then there is a way to go up there through... Oh no, we gotta go up here. And then, is this the locked... That's the locked one. Okay, we don't want to go through the locked one because it wastes the lock picks. We want to go out here. And then around this edge, up here, and then from here, is it this one? Where There it is. Yeah, there's a grapple point, and then another one. We head up. Of course, it's getting to be nighttime, so let's pull out our torch. It would do this to me. And then we got to climb this here, and our torch goes away. So that sucks, but you just go to the right, drop down. It's not too hard. And then we want to go up here. And then this is kind of tricky, but not really. It looks like you want to jump onto that wooden post, but you just want to jump. You got to do a double jump, but you just jump straight up. It takes you over here, and you're back inside, and then you can climb up. I haven't actually gone out this door, so I want to see what's outside this door, because I never have. I've been here like four or five times. I just want to see what's in here. Um, that's some arrows, iron arrows. That's good. That is a lockpick, so that's cool. We get our lockpick straight back, but nothing too interesting in there. All right, so I'm not too worried about missing that each time. You just want to head to the top for the golden chest. It's all the way up here, and bam, there it is. Ooh, the light forged axe. I've seen other people using this. This one's epic. I'm sure you can get a legendary version of this. That's kind of how weapons work. But then the other one. Man, I wish I could show it to you in the daytime, but it is straight, which, yeah, it's hard. So that's where our house was on top of this thing here. And we want to go, like, right here for the other chest. So we are heading in just about the right direction. Yeah, you can kind of see. So, yeah, that hill to our right, right there, that's where the, the home fire is. And you just want to head, yeah, you can pretty much glide straight here with this second to last upgraded thingamabobber uh, glider. Aerial plane. I already got one of these. But those are three golden chests. They do have level 25 loot usually. I'm pretty sure. We got this, which is, yeah, level 25, level 25, and this one, which is also level 25. So they are max level chests for the current iteration of the game. And now we're going to head on home because I want to sleep. And so it's daytime and go, because I haven't actually gotten to farming all the resources that we need, so we're going to be coming back here soon. Alright, I think we're all set. I've done all my diligence of getting these things put away. Oh yeah, new weapon. So we upgraded this as much as we could. We've got one more that we can do, but we're out of runes. We need to get some more of those. And I dropped the acid thing, because it's kind of fallen behind. Although, I think, is it better than that one? Let me go check. Put that over here in our weapon bin. It is 49, and this is 43. Hmm. So, it's common, and this is epic. It's got recharge on it. I don't know. I don't like using the enemy's weapon, so we're going to leave that behind for the time being. We've got a lot of weapons on us. So we are heading off... Because we need... What do we need? We need more iron. I didn't get near enough. But we mostly need sulfur, spark, lapis lazuli. Yeah. Saffron I do have going because I got enough nitrate. So that is going over here. We'll be farming that soon. And then I also got this one. Yeah, more aloe going. And we got all this stuff in here working, I think. You're making more nitrate for me. You are out of materials because you need ammonia glands, which is also kind of in the area we're going to. But for now, we just need to head into the desert. So is there anything in the desert we need? To, there's this. I don't know what that is. There's this, which is... Oh, that's just a VUCA encounter. I don't want to do that one. There's this one. I don't know what that is. 
Hall, which we do have to go into Umber Hollow to get the ammonia glands. But where was... I think this one has some lapis lazuli and possibly some sulfur nearby, and there's some question mark right above there, so we'll probably just go check out what that is. All right. We do need more fossilized bone, but not immediate... Oh, this is the one for the, the iron mine, which we don't need any longer. But what are you? Oh, Myth of Giants. Yeah, let's we'll see what Myth of Giants is. It's up that way. Is it in the shroud? It's not in the shroud. No, it's right there by that. It's probably just something to read, isn't it? Oh, I should have done some food and beverage before heading off. Is that... What is that? It looked like a flame thingy. Is it? No, it's just one of the save point things. Never mind, that's not what I wanted. We do need sulfur, lapis lazuli. I knew I should have grabbed those. Well, I found a huge thing of lapis lazuli. We'll grab this, because that's saffron. Yeah, we may as well grab it while well, it's right here. We're going to need a fair little bit of it. We should probably be grabbing yucca, too, but you got to chop that. It takes a little bit of time. Oh, before I forget again, let's do this. There we go. And let's try out our new weapon. Why not? This looks like we might be getting into a fight. Possibly? New? Nobody to fight? There's a chest. Not a big chest, but a queen bandage. Always good, I suppose. Ah, here we go. Who's from a shaman? I met a shaman while investigating the bone graveyard. Quiet. Uh, unwilling to speak or answer my qu many questions. Atypical for a Kindle Waste dweller. An oath of silence, maybe. Perhaps he lives amongst the fossils, as he seemed to revere them in a way I did not understand. When I uttered another question his way, he simply drew a rune in the sand. Old hieroglyphics. I became intrigued. I returned to East Lapis, where the archive held a dusty codex for the runes of the shaman wrote. I recognized the one he drew immediately, and its translation shocked me. Dragons. Oh, so is that what all these bones are? They're dragons? I mean, that could make sense. We did fight... Kind of a dragon. Is that the myth of giants? Ooh. No, that's a regular chest. And, well, it is locked, so that's a bonus-ish, I guess. They still haven't quite fixed the whole issue of the locked chests popping open and then closing before you can actually all the way unlock it. Um, yeah, so I guess that's... Is that it? Yeah, it seems to be it. Clear that. So that's gotten that. I don't really need fossilized bone right away, so I'm going to head off to find lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli, however you want to say it. I don't really know the correct way, so I'm going to probably just say it both ways. But yeah, we need the blue one and the yellow one, <laughs> which is sulfur. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, well, that was a fair bit of sulfur I just grabbed. Just in case you're looking for some, I am, yeah, just south of this obelisk excavation camp. Um, an ancient obelisk right here. There's the flame shrine and that, yeah, bone shard excavation camp we just found. Um, right here, the edge of this little point. And yeah, it's just right next to the road here. There's a nice little bit right there. But I'm off to find some lapis lazuli and see what a dog is barking about. <laughs> so I'll see you in a second. Oh, well that works. <laughs> the lapis lazuli, or lapis lazuli is ri literally right around the corner. So there is, yeah, the sulfur, and then right around the other corner is lapis lazuli. So I'm going to be mining this, and I'll see you when that's all done. All right, well, I think we're done because I broke both my pickaxes, so I can't really do much more. But in case you didn't catch it the first time, the lapis lazuli is, like, right here, and the sulfur was right here. And those are both on this little area. So we got the caravan camp, the haunted sun temple right down yeah below the right south of the obelisk excavation camp right there so we are heading oh i don't know why i got out of the map we're heading home drop this stuff off and see how close we are to getting everything we need to upgrade our shrine for the last time or at least for the last time in early access i imagine they'll have um you know more stuff to do when it comes out of early access so, strengthen the flame. Saffron, we need spark. That's the thing. And iron. And yucca. 
So yucca, we are. We only need two. So I'm sure we've got that. We just got to chop down those ones we have. We need more iron. I could have got more iron, but I didn't. So yeah, then it's just spark, saffron, iron, and yuck, a little bit of yucca. So let's go put this stuff away. Um, I do have a spot for most of this, I think. Yeah, that's that stuff. Lapis can go in here, sure. Uh, we'll throw the sand in there as well. And sandstone, I think I have that somewhere else, but I just don't want to look for it right now. Oh, should we? Oh, the saffron somewhere. Yeah, you can go in here, I guess, for the time being. And then we've got our magic stuff over here. Some fire wisp. I think that goes in there too. This, we need to be able to build that ourselves. Let's go ahead and repair while we're in here. Oops, there we go. Um, yeah, you were saffron over here, right? Yeah, nice. Okay, we got some of that we can plant. And then yucca we can harvest. And we have more to plant as well. And you are making bone dust for me. That's good. We're going to dump this potion in here because we make these ones. What does it take to make that bigger one? Aloe, which we are also currently getting. We have We have some. Oh, I planted some too. I forgot that. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. We gotta chop that as well though. Alright, I'm gonna do... Yeah, the sun's going down anyway, so I'm gonna do a little bit of farming. And I'll get right back to you. Well, that's all the yuccas, but I did want to... Yeah, listen. That's the noise of picking up the yucca off the ground. <laughs> like, really? Does it have to be so squishy? <laughs> I just wanted to show that for you, so I'll see you in a second. All right, we got the farming done. We got the saffron planted. I got some aloe back in. I stopped the aloe right here because I noticed that if the when you're chopping the aloe, the aloe kind of flies out. And if it lands near the door, it's really hard to pick up. I had to actually pick up the door in order to get it, and that's not going to happen. I didn't get much yucca fruit, so I don't know. I tried doing it at uh, this height and then at the bigger height, and it seemed like you just don't get much fruit from them regardless. So we're going to let those all... I put some more in. But we're going to let those grow up. And we are in need of... Yeah, we got all the sulfur we need, and, and then some. We got everything. Yeah, lapis, we got twice as much. We need more iron, spark, and then the saffron. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Do we have any more to plant? Um, yeah, we got five more to go ahead and plant. I may as well get that done. Because we want that to be going as fast as we can get it. I just put it over here because, I don't know, saffron is... I once heard that saffron is actually um, worth more than gold, I mean by weight, because saffron is one of the few uh, crops that you can't actually harvest with a machine. It, it has to be harvested by hand, and so it costs a heck ton to buy it. So yeah, I put it by my house so that we look fancy, um, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> just keeping it separate. But right now, we are heading to get, uh, what do we need, iron? Right, iron and sparks. So the iron we know where to get. We don't need that much. But the sparks are something that we can get fairly easily as well. There's all these flame shrines have them. So let's just go here and get to all the flame shrines that are easily reached by doing that. And then, yeah, let's go ahead. What is this over here? Ancient vault. Oh, that's the blacksmith. I don't know. We could probably just run to all these, mostly. And then there's a few... No, we've gotten most of the shroud roots around here. Gotten these. This one we haven't gotten. Is that the one he was talking about? I don't know. There's some well block we need to get. It's down in the... I don't know if it's that one. It's over in... this Kindle Waste, right? This is the Kindle Waste up here, I'm pretty sure. This It does not say Kindle Waste, but this is... Oh, that's Revel Wood. Kindle Waste is over here. No. Where the heck is the Kindle? It's over here, isn't it? This is the Kindle Waste. We haven't gotten the uh, Spire for over here yet, because it's over past the Shroud we can't get through. It's like right about here, I think. But we need the Sparks, so I guess we'll just go closest one first. Right? May as well. That's going to be real close. We'll probably have to dive for that one. 
Oh, let's put some of this on. I need to go make some more of that. Uh, we probably don't need the food at the moment. I don't think we're going to be fighting anything. All right, it's like... Oh, yeah, it's right down there. I pretty much just dive straight to it. But we do need some more food. I have been getting more digger stuff because the scavenger guys have it. Yep, give me that. That is... That just one? Ancient vault, blacksmith. That's just some water. Yeah, it's going to be fastest just to fly to all of them. So we're just going to keep on doing that. Yeah, it's just one spark. I think you get two in the higher level area. At least I think I've gotten two before. From like... The ones over in this region of the world. I think we should test that. We'll get one more over here, and then we'll test. We'll grab this one. Sure, it doesn't really matter. Because it's all within gliding distance, I believe. Yeah, where is that? Right this way. And hello? Somewhere over here. Is that it? Right below me? No. Higher up. Somewhere over here. And bam. There it is. Cool. Yeah, give me that. It's two. How many did we need? We need a lot, don't we? Yeah, that's just one. So let's go check if we get two over here. Or I wonder if that's just for the first time. So yeah, set that one. And we'll go here. That'll work. Yeah, go. We need a lot of flame spark things. But this should be the last time we really have to go collecting them. I think there are things that you can produce. Oh, there's some um, sulfur right up here, too. We need that right there. But yeah, I think there is some stuff that you craft that, cra that requires the sparks. But mostly it's just for the flame altar upgrades, I think. Is it up top there? It's probably up top there, isn't it? I'm so glad we don't have to worry about all the critters attacking us. That makes life so much easier. I mean, just the shroud critters, obviously. What is that lump over there? Those digger things? Or those, yeah, those are those digger things. It is up on top there, isn't it? Oh, this is probably the way up, it looks like. Yeah, I like all the cracks. You see all the cracks lighting up on the rock? Oh, is that light or is that cracks in the world? I think it's cracks in the world. Could be lighting effects, though. What's this? Is that where it is? Up here. M. Glowy cavern of some kind. Interesting. Have I not been here? I feel like I've been here. But maybe not. Yeah, there it is. That's what we're looking for. Oh. Freaking stamina. There's no lapis lazuli. There's some sulfur over on that wall. Mm, I don't feel like I've been here before, but that... Yeah, that's just a dismantle book. It's not a, a reading book. Oh, I didn't even look. Dang it. <laughs> I was supposed to be checking. Oh, there's this one. Can we go and try for those? There's this. I feel like we're not ready for that elixir well yet. That's probably the one we... Well blocks, yeah, that's the one we need to do. For that stuff. The exile, yeah, that's the hollow thing. So, I suppose... Let's do this one, because it's nice... Whoops, not ping. Nobody cares, because nobody's on here with me. Yeah, fast travel over here. And then I'll, I'll pay attention and see how many we get. I'm sure you guys already know. Because you were probably paying attention. But I was not... Just bad at paying attention to stuff. Oh man, I need to grab these because these are really good. Yeah, more sulfur right there. In case you need to know what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Pretty obvious though. Sulfur and, and the lapis are both really obvious. And there's a whole ton right there. So this is actually this archway if you want to come here to get some sulfur. Although it is a little dangerous if you don't have the critter thing on where they're all friends with you. Because these guys are kind of tough. But they do have eggs. And if they're your friends, they'll let you take them. Yeah, loot, loot, loot. What's this? Ooh. Draconian bow. Oh yeah, sometimes they have the draconian bow up here. Um, in that corpse. I've, that's the second time I've gotten it, so it must be a pretty common drop. But yeah, this area is on this archway. 
it's like a, if you come up any other way, like that's a big old arch. You can see it, and you can kind of hop up this way. It's a little difficult, but it's not too hard. It can be done. We are heading off this way. Get sparks. Because that's what we're looking for right now. Then we'll go get some more iron. Although I suppose we could just pull it out of our um, smelter thingy. It's over this way. Right? Yeah. Right over here. It's gonna be way down. There it is. There it is. Alright. Yeah, I have gotten a little better at gliding thanks to some comments from viewers like you. Which also reminds me, I've recently just hit 200 subscribers, which I meant to mention at the beginning of this episode, but I totally forgot to mention it. And I want to thank you all so much. I never thought I would get to the 200. I mean, I know 200 is like nothing, but to me it's a lot and it means so much. So thank you all for, you know, being interested in what I'm doing here <laughs> and, you know, subscribing. I, I do appreciate it. I, there's not much I can do. Hey, what are you doing? Not much I can do as far as like, I don't know, rewards, but eventually we'll get there, hopefully. Hey, die. He's a little bit tougher. What the heck? Oh, he was over in this little patch here. Yeah, they just randomly spawn in little bits of shroud area sometimes. Oh, I wasn't paying attention again. <laughs> so bad at that. Oh, did I actually get it? I did get it, didn't I? Dang it, now I'm not even paying attention to what I was doing. I was busy thinking about talking and saying things about subscribers. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention to the game. Well, I'm pretty sure I got it, right? You guys are all probably yelling at me. Don't bother going back there. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I thought so. Is there another one anywhere? There's this one. Yeah, let's set that. Because we can just go here. Fast travel from there. Oh, we could probably pick up that chest also. Why not? Because there is the chest. Edge to the west of here. Yeah, that way. Right. Yeah, this one here. That is a bronze chest, I've been told. I don't know. It, it looks gold to me. I don't know if it actually tells you when you're in here. But, yeah, uh, arsonist bow. It's not bad, but definitely not, you know, the level of stuff we're doing right now. Then the other one. Flame altar. Not flame altar. Spark thing. What is it? Flame thingy. Over this way. Can we get to it, is the question. Or is it up? We have to go around this rock. Or else start back at the spire again. Mm, maybe not. There's Ruby, Ruby Bows around here. In case you're needing that stuff. But it's pretty easy to find in the desert. And then... Oh yeah, it is up, isn't it? It would be. Alright, let's go back to the spire. So we can fly down. Flying is way faster. I'm trying to hop my way up there. Hopping is not very quick. Where is it? It's right over here, isn't it? Yeah, this way. Ah, I see it. Yeah, it's really easy to spot from up high. What is that over there? That archway? I think I've been through there. I just don't remember stuff that well. Unless I put a flame altar by it. It's, it's pretty much gone from my memory. So you... See, it takes it a minute to pop up and tell you. Three! Okay, three sparks. Yeah, we definitely want to get the ones over in this area, as opposed to the early area. I wonder if that's bronze, if you break that. I just want to test it real quick. If Can we even break it? No, ineffective. Yeah, we can break it. No, we can't break this thing, though. That sucks. It looks like it'd be bronze if you manage to break it. Okay. Um, how many do we have? We have 13. I don't remember how many we did have or how many we need, so that doesn't really help all that much. But since we have to fast travel to get to the next one anyway, I mean, I guess we can go get that one. And that's, yeah, the cradle thing. It's an elixir well over there. I don't want to do that. It's probably another um, route over there. I suppose we should go grab that one, since there's no easy way to get to it. Well, no, if we fly, we're only going to end up about there. It's still closer. Yeah, we'll fly. I like flying. Way, way faster. 
can fly. I, I think I figured out you can't actually stand on... Oh, you can stand on these. You just sink into it a little bit, and it, he's kind of sliding off of it. <laughs> That's a little funny. Oh, I didn't manage to get the jump in. That sucks. That would have given us a little bit of extra height. Oh, I didn't get the boost thing. There's like a boost thing you can get a skill. Does that dude come back? I don't really want to find out. I didn't like fighting that guy in there. The like alchemist thing, whatever it is. It's like a fell horror or something awful like that. Whoa, hey buddy. Sorry. I didn't mean to just pop up on you like that. I don't know, I am a little curious. All right, we're gonna go in and see if he's still here. He comes back. I imagine they would, right? All the enemy dudes? Yeah, Cradle of Dusk. Yep, he is. Okay, so the, the big bad guys do come back. I kind of thought they would. But I just wanted to check and see if it was truly the case. Is he after me now? Oh no, it's those guys growling. Yeah, you, you can be the distraction. Oh, it's probably up there, isn't it? Well, if it's not up there, being up there would be better to, you know, because it's always easier to go down than up. And I saw this little stairway looking thing. Oh, come on. Give me that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, stamina. Stamina helps. Give me a second. That's enough stamina. I don't want to wait too long. <laughs> Can we get to there? Yeah. All right. As long as you keep moving, it makes things a little easier. And all the way up here. There we go. Oh, come on. Didn't give me the double jump for a second there. And then it did. No, it's right down there. Oh, well. We still would have had to get down to it eventually. Yeah, give me that. How many did that give us? That gives us three. Nice. Okay, I think that's good for now. Head back and check. See if we are... Oh, there is a question mark. Alright, we'll head to the question mark. And then, then we'll head back. Because we haven't really done anything that exciting yet. And that could be exciting. You never know. There's something running down there. What are you? Ow. Oh, it's a chicken. Well, I'm going to take the chicken meat. Because the chicken meat and it has feathers too. But the chicken meat's not too bad. And we were pretty much out of our um, glide range anyway. Lots of VUCA. They're all friends of ours, except the big ones. The big ones are not. What is this? A VUCA cave? Looks like a VUCA cave. Always want to watch out on the center paths in the VUCA caves. Give me this. What is this? Eh, sure. We'll take some metal scraps. And we'll take some stuff, whatever that was, for a patch. Is this going to get us? That does not get us where we... Well, I want to go up and see what this is, because then we can glide to wherever we're going. Oh, it's not a VUCA place. It's a you guys place. Hey, buddy. Yeah, the scavenger dudes. I couldn't get the parry for some reason. I think the angle we're fighting on is not ideal for merciless attacks. Yeah, and those guys have eggs, too. They take the eggs. Oh, light burst. Okay, and I'll take a free repair. I don't think I really needed it, but... Um, yeah, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, and you're, you're a nasty freaking explodey boy. Where the heck even are you? You're right here. Stop with the explosions. You're going to kill all of us. Alright, there we go. Okay, better. <laughs> Now I can see. Seeing is so much more useful than not seeing. I'll take that stuff. Why not? Are there any more of you guys? Oh, there's some copper in here. These guys like to camp around copper. Oh. I should have disarmed him. Ow. Hey. Wait for somebody to get up before that you just go attacking them. That's rude. I was struggling with the ladder. What's this? Anything good? No, I don't want any of that. Already got too much of that. Oh, I can't even get out of here. Mystic hat. 
Yeah, there's not even a way out. Boo. I was hoping I could get up on top of whatever this is. But no such luck. Alright. Glide through the cave. That's probably really dangerous. <laughs> oh, this thing glows too. Nice. We have two glowy weapons. I like the glowy weapons. Although none of them glow enough. There we go. So, interesting little cave, sort of. It wasn't the question mark thing we were looking for, but it was something to keep us occupied momentarily. Gotta do distractions every now and then. Oh, I didn't even have any food on. That up there. <laughs> As I was mentioning distractions. That, oh, that's how you get up, maybe? No. I don't think getting up there is going to be an easy feat. There's more of them. Oh, they're fighting Vuka? Somebody? Fighting chickens. <laughs> he sounded way too pissed off for just fighting a chicken. Oh man, I let it go. And you? Did he disarm that thing? I think he did. Oh, and the archer dude is going to be blasting me with arrows. I don't like being blasted with arrows. Did you know that? Can we push him into the trap? No. We did disarm the trap with his body. So that, that was fun. You and you and the chicken. We like chicken meat. And we like scrap metal. This is not the question mark either. No, it does not appear to be. There's more of you. And green guys. Freaking green guys. You guys come out here. You come see me over here. I don't want to fight you in close quarters. And I don't think I'd really want to fight this guy. Um, at long range. Oh man! <laughs> Jumped too much. Ow. No, stop it. Stop with the explosions. And green guy. Yeah, two of you. Can you come up here? I don't think he can come. Oh, he can. <laughs> I don't think he can. He just jumps. Like, Yeah, let's go one at a time. I like one at a time. Oh, man. I don't have the timing. I had the timing down for the last set of dudes. There we go. All right. Oh, man. Yeah. These guys aren't as tough as the ones I have been fighting. I'm not too worried about them. And it's just you left. Oh man, I dropped it. There we go. Merciless. Alright, yeah, I was getting the timing back a little bit better. This isn't the question mark thing either. You, oh, you have something in the basement. Um, not much in the basement. Just a wee little chest with some bombs. We always need to restock on bombs, though, so that kind of works out. And a little bit of loot. I haven't used those cluster bombs yet. I wonder if they're any good. I mean, I guess they're like bombs, but they're better because there's a cluster of them. Ow. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> jump over that and hit the one spot that's got the freaking trap on it. Yeah, we're almost to the question mark. Right? Aha! That's got to be it, right? 107 meters. Yeah, that looks like 107 meters to me. Uh, let's go back to this. So we haven't used this. I feel like it getting lonely. Hello! Nice to see you. Whoa! Um, maybe jumping into the middle of them was not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, I think I took out one of the explosive dudes. Let's, yeah, get a little bit of distance. So we don't have to fight all of them in a freaking big melee. Yeah, high ground, high ground. That's the way to do it. 
Who's who's saying what? Yeah, they don't they don't seem to like this little area that you have to jump. <laughs> they can't deal with it. That's funny. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's that's helped a lot. I'm amazed that I didn't get more damage, but I guess they're so low level compared to me now. And and you you are doing explosions. Are you also explosions? You look like an arrow, dude. There we go. Eggs. I don't know what the eggs are really good for. There's got to be some food that we need eggs for. So what is... This is the question mark thing that we saw, right? So what is up with the question mark? Is it... Yeah, I mean, pretty much. But I don't see anything... Question mark. Oh, it's below. Oh, hello, Wolfie. Yeah, we don't need the wolf meat, but the bones are good for bone dust, which is useful. How do we get down? There's got to be stairs in one of these buildings, right? There we go. All right, give me a glowy weapon. Eh, let's go with the sword. It's got more durability. A chest. Um, oh, powder things. Oh, I did find black powder. I don't know where I picked it up at some point. I picked it up. So I'm guessing you can eventually craft those bombs yourself. Or some other bomb thing. Yeah, below. I tried to go below. There was nothing. Unless it's, like, way below. Sorry, you were trapped in a corner. And I need feathers. So you had to die. Sorry, chicken. Chicken, good. No, that's the other series. That's my Starfield playthrough. <laughs> Is there, like, a... Aha! Ooh. I don't like the look of that. That's where we have to go, though, isn't it? Yeah, I bet it is. Ooh, and then we gotta run out that way. Oh, man. Alright, well, I'm gonna put some food on. And then probably, probably do a little bit of overkill. But we're gonna use this. And then we're gonna drop down. Because why wouldn't we? Yep, now we're enshrouded. This seems to be where it wants us to go, sort of. Oh, crap. I was trying to fight him with chicken. You can't fight these guys with chicken. Yes, we need magic or something. Something that actually hurts them. Yeah, chicken does not work. <laughs> Alright, give me a chest. Now, Executioner's Axe we've had... Oh, is this just a... It is just a, a thing, isn't it? Um, shroud Root, whatever, Elixir Well. I'm guessing that's what this is. Most of the question marks are... I don't think... It, which way is it? It is that way. So what's down there? Oh, I gotta check it out. Whoa, whoa. Bunch of critters. I don't think I really want to deal with a bunch of critters. I want to go this way. Because I don't imagine whatever chest they have is going to be that great. That's probably all that is over there. It is saying that we go this way, still. Just how do we get that way is the question. Oh, that goes back up the way we came. There's a climbing wall over here. So let's do that. There we go. And then... Is this the way we came? No, this isn't the way we came getting red over yeah red over here that means there is a shroud root that's what I thought this was and special boys and critters and you and merciless and boo explodey thing and we can blow that up I think that's a critter place that everybody? No, it is not. There we go. That everybody. I think that's everybody. It's hard to tell because the shroud roots make this horrible breathing noise. And the critters just pop out of everything. That everybody. 
I think that's everybody. We're going to start chopping one way or another anyway. So we could always use more skill points. Yeah, nice. And then we can collect our winnings. You want to call it that? Oh, hello. And critter parts. Always, well, I don't know about always, but they are useful for glow dust and something else, I believe. Is that it? Really? No chest. Oh, man. Oh, there's another critter thing. I didn't see that one. There. Take that. And you take that. There. Now I can happily go around and find if there's anything. Oh, there is tin. And tin is something we don't come across all the time, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it while we're in here. Why not? Alright, that's enough tin. That's basically that whole um, vein, or whatever you want to call it. The only tin sources I've found have been in shroud root areas. There's this one, and then there's another one that is north of um, the spire over here. Right? Uh, where's the spire? Eh. This spire, yeah, right up here has another tin source at that shroud root. So I guess there's just tin around here, so maybe if, if you find a mine in this area it would also have tin. Is there a way out of here? Or should we just warp back? I think this is the way we haven't gone, so I would assume if there's a way out, this does go up. Got some tin ore, sure, we'll take some... Oh, there's some more tin. And a chest. Chest is always good. That is Fowler. That almost completes our Fowler set, doesn't it? Man. Yeah, the flying guys just annoy me to no end. Because there's just no good way to deal with them except with... I mean, I guess you could use a bow. But it's like, you can't be a straight-up melee person and deal with them at all. Alright, I'm gonna head up. Up is good. Yeah, we're no longer enshrouded. That's gotta be a good sign. Oh, this is like a whole tin mine, is it? What's this guy? Oh, the freaking railings. Oh, hey! Sneaking up behind me. I don't appreciate that. Ha, ah, there's a way up. Oh, it's nighttime. That's what it is. <laughs> That's why it's, we are actually outside now. But yeah, this is apparently a tin mine. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. Oh, yeah, we have to be on the edge for those ones to work. Critters are following us. Yeah, where the heck is this anyway? And are there scavenger dudes? Looks like a scavenger dude sort of place. What's this? Greater mana potion. Well, that'd be great if I was a magic user. I just kind of dabble. Where the heck is this? And we are back out into the world. Oh. Why would that be out here? Hello? Stuff to read. What? Right. Uh, indefinite abatement. That's interesting. I mean, Pike needs reach... Uh, Pike Mead's Reach's ability to admit more cargo for repairs has seized. Seized. Uh, we must retain the overdue parcel until further noticed. I've placed it into the crane platform. Uh, placed it on the crane platform. Where's the crane platform? M. Oh, it's right there, isn't it? Okay. So, we have to glide there? I don't see any other way to get there. There's a critter. I see a shadow. Where is the critter that belongs to that shadow? Or is it that one? Could have been that one, and the shadows are just messed up. Alright, I guess I'm going to try for it. We're going to put this on, though, just in case. And... Whoa! Ooh, that was <laughs> very janky. Uh, castle wall stone block. Alright, whoops. That's cool. That's a new one. Not really the treasure I was looking for, but that's kind of how treasure works sometimes. You get stuff that you weren't looking for. What is this rock? Is that just a rock rock? Oh, it's a limestone rock. Well, we got plenty of that already. 
Okay, now on the map, so you all can see. Yeah, Mining Rift. Okay, so that's right here. So, Northern Caravan Camp. There's the Ancient Spire Nomad Highlands. So you just kind of head straight west, and you'll get to this Mining Rift if you are in need of tin. And there is some higher up, so you don't have to go all the way down. But don't think there's anything else I really want to do over here at the moment, is there? Yeah, we got the Shroud Roots. That's cool. We already got that one. There's the Flame Sanctum. Oh, I do kind of want to go to the Flame Sanctum. All right, hang on. Let's let's get that because, um, knowing my luck, we are going to end up not having enough of the sparks. I am, in fact. Should I go ahead sleep through the night? Can we sleep? We can sleep on the bed with the corpse. That's lovely. Uh, what's that? Tin ore. Cool. Do we have a campfire? I don't think I do. Can I make one? And. Yeah, I can. Sweet. Had just enough logs. So, where is the campfire gone? Hello? Wait, there it is. <laughs> Why can't I see this campfire? Uh, we'll put you right there. Yeah. And then, light. Hello? Yeah, you gotta walk around a little bit for your little spark bug, whatever the heck it is, to light that up. Sleep until the morning. There we go. That's all that campfire was good for. We got one damage from going in the campfire. That's kind of funny. Okay, Flame Sanctum. That's what we're looking for. I wish they'd had a repair thing. But I just don't want to warp all the way back. Ooh, a well. That's random. But alrighty. Why is it in the middle of the crossroads? That's not how wells work. There's a cave over here. I'm guessing we have to go up. Does the cave go up? Doesn't look much like an up cave. The path goes up. So I will take the path and not the cave. Cave. Caves have done me wrong in the past, just recently. <laughs> in case you weren't paying attention to that. Got totally shafted by the cave. Um, no, it is kind of more this way. We'll head this way. Is this where we already were? Very familiar. Uh, yeah, we were up here. Okay. So the Flame Sanctum, is it way up? No, it's right here. Okay, cool. I was going to say, I hope I don't have to climb that whole cliff face. Luckily, right here. Do the Flame Sanctums give you extra? I wonder. What's that? Oh. Impressive journey. Reach level 20. Oh. <laughs> it, it told me I had the achievement before I actually got to level 25. That's kind of funny. So level 25 is the max level. It only gave us three for the, um, what you call it, the early access part here. I do believe. Yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments if you know different, because I'm certainly... My backpack is full? Oh man, I haven't been out here journeying like this in a while. Um, do we want to keep this arsonist bow level 20? Is it level 18? No. We'll go ahead and salvage you. We have a draconian bow as well, don't we? Yeah, draconian bow level 21. We don't need you either. Now we can get this. This is alchemical base, which is not a bad thing to have, because it does take quite a bit of resources to make that sort of thing. And you are bone dust, glow dust, some kind of dust. You have some fossilized bone, which we are in need of a bit more of, because our plants are now requiring fossilized bone dust to grow properly. Oops, this button works better for what I was trying to accomplish. Okay, so that is pretty much... Th oh man, I just want to connect that bit of black. Or the, well, I guess disconnect the black? Oh, that's a chicken. Because I need to start clearing the fog of war, or whatever you want to call it, the fog of map coveringness. <laughs> it's called. It's been called the fog of war since Warcraft One, I believe. Well, it's the first game I saw it in, anyway, and that's what they called it. Although it wasn't. It was just Warcraft back then. The old RTS, you know, real-time strategy version of Warcraft. Not that I played that one very much. I mostly played Warcraft Two. 
and a little bit of three, but not very much. Why could you just like, eh, <laughs> we reached the edge of the world again. Just want to get up higher so I can, um, there's a VUCA up here. This can't be the edge of the world completely. But yeah, I just want to get higher so we can do things. What, is there anything in here? There's a chest in here. I, I thought I saw something. Yeah, you know you're kind of towards the edge of the world. That is just acid bite. I don't really care about that. I don't really need an acid bite thing because I don't really use magic. And, oh, so close. Of course we are like, are we right near? Yeah, we are right near another question mark. Whoa. Oh, that's right. It's this area. I forgot there's two shroud roots in here. We never got the second one. Hmm. We still have a home right there. Yeah, so I guess it's probably close enough because I don't know. Well, I guess we could just fly over that away. Fly back to the left. Figure out as much of that as we can. No, we're going to end up landing in the shroud if we do that. So we'll just go this way just to get that actually connected. There is lots of non-shroud areas so we can fast travel away. Yeah, this is Pike right? Like me reach or whatever the heck it is, I think. Or am I completely off base? No, this is the, uh, yeah, the pike. That's what it is. And pike needs reach. Yeah, this is where bad things happen. Although we could probably do a lot better now, but I don't want to try it because that was the worst battle I've been in in this whole game so far. But yeah, now it's connected. Haha. <laughs> now we just have this big black area in the middle. I have no idea what's going on there. They never sent me there. We got this black area over here, which is all past shroud that I can't enter, I believe. This obelisk research? No. Oh, we need to get that one. Okay, lots of question marks to deal with, but let's head on home because our backpack is full to the brim. And we need to drop stuff off and see if we can upgrade our altar. Right? Yes, commune, strengthen. So saffron, iron. Oh, we forgot to get any iron. All right, so and then saffron. Well, we don't have room for saffron, so let's put stuff away. And I'll get right back to you. All right, everything's put away. So we are really, yeah, we got enough sparks. It's just saffron and iron. So we know where to get both of those. Saffron is here. Oh, dang it. That was repotting. So the saffron is not done yet. I just went gung-ho into that. Yeah, saffron, you go there. Is any of it ready? None of it's ready. I guess it hasn't been that long since I planted it. Saffron might be really slow growing too. Oh, I guess we could go ahead and plant some more real quick. Right. Yeah. Got, ooh, 30. Yeah. Let me just plant that real quick and I'll get right back to you. All right. That's planted. Um, I suppose we need to go get iron and we got to wait for that to go ahead and grow. And I'm running out of time, but I'll try and get this flame altar at least leveled up so that we can accomplish something today. Oh, you know what we need is to put this back on there. There we go. All right, go. Yeah, sometimes when you come out of the menu, if you hit the W key too quickly, he doesn't want to actually move. You have to give it a second, I guess, to register. Because I know, depending on how games are programmed, they have to disable the movement key while you're in the menu. Especially in a game like this, where it's like persistent, you know, it doesn't pause when you go into the menu. Yeah, nice. It has regenerated. Ooh, legendary scorching wand. Sure, we'll take a legendary wand. Not that it helps us that much, but mostly just need the iron. That's why I'm actually here. So see you in a moment. All right, well, that's 50 limestone. That's enough for the time being, because we uh, did kind of want to go ahead and get those other two chests since we're over here and the they have regenerated, because this is the one we got first. So the other two are going to be also regenerated. And this way, you can actually see where that other one is. We're going to go yeah, from the tower first, because that's just how I like to do it. Even though the other one is technically closer, it's right there. But it's kind of more of a good landmark to go to the tower first so you guys can see 
how to get this, just in case you're wondering. Again, we are over here by the Weaver's Cottage, Ocean's Heart, and... Oh, that's just a flame sanctum, or flame shrine thingy. Where is that? Oh, that's right here. I keep running right past it every time. I need to keep getting that every time. Or I should keep getting that every time. Not that I, oh, that one's four. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this must be... I think five must be the highest you can get. Yeah, and then out here, uh, we'll grab that, because why not? That saves us a little bit of salt, and then just up here, over here, up there, and then... I don't think... Can we double jump to that? I'm going to try it. Oh, we can. That saves some time. And then quick double jump up to here, and we are golden. Let me just grab some... Yeah. Loot some metal scraps. Scrap metal. Metal scraps. If we get to here... Get this one. Eh, that's not very good. But, okay, it's also not a flail. What? What are you doing? And then, if we head south, right over here, it's much easier to see in the daytime. You can pretty much just glide... Whoa. Glitching out a little bit. I don't know what was going on there. But yeah, you just head straight south to this side of the little rock formation, and bam, right there. Uh, hawk boots, of course. I think maybe it's <laughs> it's trolling me. It's like, you've been getting this stuff too many times. So, all right, we got the iron we needed. So now we're literally just waiting on the saffron to grow. I suppose we can collect some out here, but it is pretty sparse out in the desert. Are you ready yet? No, no you're not, not even close. I wish it would tell you how long it has, but it does not tell you that. Okay, so we can throw our iron in here. A good spot for iron? Yes, that is where the iron goes. That should have been plenty, right? Strengthen the flame. Yeah, just saffron now. Ooh. Well, we have the saffron, because how much did we need? We need... Um, 37. And we have how many planted? I think this is 30 right here. These, this two rows is what? Two by what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Two by seventeen. Yeah, that's more than 30. That's like what? 34 ish, I think. And then almost the same over here. So that's definitely going to be enough saffron. But that's also going to have to be the end of this episode. Unfortunately, I don't have time to wait around for all that to grow. But by next time, we'll be able to upgrade the flame and then either head off to get the uh, final glider or we might be going to the hollow halls. That depends on something that may or may not happen. So, yeah, uh, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you all so much for helping me get to 200 subscribers. And I hope that you'll join me for the next one. Bye!